So I'm really looking forward to this next interview. He's probably one of the most requested ever interviews for Real Vision, Russell Clark from Horseman. Now, Russell is famous as not only a short seller who managed to be short in rising markets and not lose money for extended periods of time, but he's also famous for his macro thinking. It's very rare for Russell to appear on television or do any interviews at all. So it's a real coup for us to get Russell on. I want to talk about how he constructs his portfolios, how he thinks about the world, and some of his secrets. Hopefully we'll find it super interesting. And this is you know, where part of my thinking about fund management came, is that uh, you know, funds going up, up and down, but there are sometimes you have moves in funds that are you know, out of character with what the investment manager said they're going to do. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, what I would call sort of a career ending move, um, which happens. Yeah. And so, you know, what I would then do is go and look at uh, why that happened. Um, and so, and, you know, I'd say more than 50%, maybe 70, 80% of the times when that happened, it was because they had a currency move that they didn't expect. And we, that might sound strange, but if you look at like, uh, the various different fund strategies you've got out there and look, talk to the managers. What you find with, for example, Japan managers is they never expect the yen to appreciate. I've never met any Japanese fund manager who goes, yen's going to 80, so I'm going to short Japan. It's never happened. Likewise, with EM managers, you never meet like, an, uh, you know, especially maybe these days, but you know, a few years ago, you'd never meet an EM manager going, yeah, Indian, Indian rupee's going to halve. Ruble's going to fall 60%, short everything. They never say that. Uh, and yet, if you focus on the currencies and you look at the history of the currencies, uh, and currencies tend to have a mean reverting type feature, you find these types of moves happen all the time. Uh, and so through that sort of my background of being in Hong Kong in 98 and then being at GAM for a few years and looking at how funds worked, what we try and do is invert the process. So we put currencies at the beginning of the investment process rather than at the end, or assume that some steady state's gonna continue with no change. 